Hello friends, welcome back to Solid Gold Scripture Journals. We are here today to do a Come Follow Me lesson because it's a great way to study the scriptures where we can find peace in Christ and gain scripture confidence. So today, here we are in 2 Nephi 31 to 33. This is the way. This is Nephi summarizing his life. And Nephi, I mean, he's the best. I really enjoy um, his stories, his writings, his point of view. So I'm looking forward to the study this week. Before I study, I do leave myself a note to remember to pray because otherwise so often I forget. And that prayer just really helps to focus my mind. Um, if I'm looking for answers to something, I can really uh, sort things out better if I pray before I study so. I'm passing that invitation on to you as well. And when I'm done, I'll just move this little notice on to next week because <laughs> it doesn't matter how long I've been studying scriptures, I forget to pray. All right, so here we are with Nephi. He tried to do what the Lord commanded. So many things he did. He risked his life to get the brass plates from Laban. He built a boat to cross the sea again, risking his life. Uh, he taught his family with patience and power, he taught about um, following that straight and narrow path. And he found that his joy in life came as he obeyed those commandments and invites us to do the same. So today we'll study 2 Nephi 31. Jesus Christ and his doctrine are the only way to eternal life. I read this over earlier and I was a little bit excited. I haven't done a drawing in a long time. And I like doing the drawings because it just is a different way to study. So it says, if you had to summarize the path to eternal life in just a few words, what would you say? Well, I'm going to think about that, and I'm actually going to write out what I would say. And that will be my first assignment for today. I'll leave myself a checkbox so I can check it off when I'm done. Then notice how Nephi described the path to eternal life in 2 Nephi 31. So I'll have to do that, and I guess that means I will have to read uh, that. So I'll give myself a second check box. Then consider drawing a path and writing along the path some principles or steps you find in these um, chapters. Well, I'll for sure do that. And then it says you could add to your drawing your own summary of what Nephi taught about each principle. Well, I'm going to have to leave a couple pages for that. And then as I read these verses here, I can evaluate my own efforts. So I am likening the scriptures to my own life. So we have a lot of check boxes today. Better get cracking. Question number one, if you had to summarize the path to eternal life in just a few words, what would you say? The path to eternal life begins with baptism and continues on to eternal life as I follow the Savior's teachings and example. I must endure because sometimes it gets hard and I get tired. That's kind of the example I'm trying to follow these days as I notice in the Savior's life. He did a lot of things. He walked everywhere. He was tired. Everyone wanted him all the time. And yet he was able to endure and carry on and bless and help the people. So I can certainly do that too, even if I don't feel like it, even if I feel a little tired. So that is something important to me. Okay, let's check that one off here. So it says, notice how Nephi described um, the path to eternal life in 2 Nephi 31. So I will read through that. 
and then we shall discuss in a moment. Here's what Nephi had to say. Now, obviously, he added a few more things than what I said. So I'll just go through and uh, tell you the things that I marked. So he said the Lord showed him the Lamb of God and um, that this Lamb of God, who was Jesus Christ, would take upon him the sins of the world. He says that this Lamb of God, who we know is Jesus Christ, was baptized even though he was perfect. He was baptized and he received the Holy Ghost. And he said that straight is the way and narrow is the path that leads to eternal life. And we need to follow the example that he set. He said to follow me and keep the commandments and repent and take upon you the name of Christ by baptism. Then you receive the Holy Ghost. We need to repent of our sins and keep the commandments. Talks about that again. Then he says we need to endure to the end in following the example of the living God. If we don't, we cannot be saved. He says again that straight is the gate. We need repentance and baptism and to keep the commandments. He says we must press forward with a steadfastness in Christ. Then he talks about feasting upon the word of Christ, doing our scripture study, right? And then we endure to the end. And this is the way and there is none other way to receive eternal life. And we know from the scriptures that eternal life is where we get to live eternally with Jesus Christ and our Heavenly Father. And that is the goal. So let's come back here. So I went through and um, read that, but now I'm going to make my drawing. Here we go. Well, my uh, picture isn't very picturey. It's more like a chart, surprisingly enough. So we've got repentance, baptism, gift of the Holy Ghost. That baptism, that is how we get on the path. So maybe um, I'll write a couple more things here. So here, this is the gate. And this is the path to eternal life which is right here I wrote eternal life. So we get on the gate through baptism. We stay on the path with repentance by keeping the commandments, by taking upon myself the name of Christ, uh, which means by following his example always. I feast upon the words of Christ. I endure to the end. And as I continue to press forward, I will have eternal life. And eternal life is immortality with Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ. So let me make sure I'm on the right track here. Uh, so we did a drawing and we added our own summaries to the drawing. And then as I read 2 Nephi 31, 18, I'm going to evaluate how I am pressing forward. Oh, but before that, I forgot to mention one thing that I was really impressed with in 2 Nephi 31, 21 is where it says, this is the way and there is none other way. Uh, nor name given under heaven whereby man can be saved in the kingdom of God. So I think this immortality and eternal life, another way of looking at it is we will be saved in the kingdom of God. 
And also, I was impressed that this is the only way. I think sometimes I think, you know, you just you just need to be a good person. But eventually, everyone has the opportunity to be baptized. And this is how we receive eternal life. So I think I'm just going to make eternal life look a little fancier. And then I'll move on. Okay, now... <laughs> I'll move on to the next part. And I'll write about how I can press forward along this path to eternal life. Let's see. One thing that really impressed me about these verses is the reminder that I am on this straight and narrow path because I'm baptized and I have made a promise. I have promised that I would take his name upon me, that I would do my best, that I would endure to the end. And so I need to make sure I'm doing that. There is so much that could be said. But I just only have this much room, and sometimes that's a good thing. Squeeze it in, fit it in, make your journal, your, you know, a tool. So I am impressed by these scriptures today. I, I'm reminded that I made a promise at baptism to follow the Savior, to endure in keeping that promise, and to do what he would have me do. Now, my word of the year is partake. That's sort of my, like my New Year's resolution, the word that sort of follows me around all year in all of my activities. I have been partaking of the divine nature. And that to me has meant that I serve him, that I go and take those opportunities. But here's the kicker, even when I do not feel like it, even when I am tired, even when I think this is, I don't know if this is going to be such a great idea, but I do it anyway. And that this is all coming together for me here today. And I really enjoy that. So let's check that off and look at it. Look at this. I got all the things done today. That is so exciting. So I will put this away for today and come back to it tomorrow to complete the Come Follow Me. So I've gotten some great motivation today as I have studied the scriptures, and I hope that you will find what you need as you study your scriptures, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.